Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be talking about SCP-1501, Every Penny Counts. This little guy falls under the object class of Euclid, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's dive in and see what makes this penny so special. SCP-1501 refers to a collection of anomalous pennies that possess the ability to duplicate themselves when handled by human beings. These instances are to be dismantled and stored in standard containment chambers, which are situated within the containment area for safekeeping. Instances of SCP-1501 are known to move to areas such as street corners, office buildings, traffic lights, and other locations commonly frequented by charity collectors. Once in these areas, they begin collecting money for various charities, including endangered species of birds, poverty, AIDS, and underperforming foundation facilities. All funds collected by SCP-1501 instances are placed in their collection box and then transferred to the charity the instance was collecting for. Transportation methods include the U.S. postal system, hand delivery to a charity office, or sending each bill individually with an avian organism. If a humanoid subject repeatedly donates to an instance of SCP-1501, the instance will begin to follow the subject continuously, observing their financial transactions. It will follow the subject to their home, place of business, and any other location the subject travels to. After two to three weeks, the SCP-1501 instance will begin to collect for charities that the subject is likely to donate to, based on their activity during this period. At some point, instances of SCP-1501 will target a wealthy subject who is inclined to donate to charitable organizations. They will focus all their attention on this person, sending letters advertising various charitable organizations to their homes in order to convince them to donate more money. This will continue indefinitely, until the SCP-1501 instances are physically unable to solicit the subject. As they increase their solicitation of the individual, instances of SCP-1501 may disguise themselves as the subject's spouse or alter their mail to persuade the subject to donate. Disguises may include a wax prosthesis and costuming themselves in the clothes of the person they are imitating. If the subject discovers SCP-1501's anomalous properties, they may attempt to use alternate disguises or cease directly visiting the subject in favor of sending letters about the charity. If authorities are contacted about the instance, they will attempt to flee and become inert if captured. A document promoting the Help the Homeless, What If That Was You campaign was found in the former home of. The document, created by an SCP-1501 instance, is similar to others created by SCP-1501, with minor changes made to reference the homeless instead of starving children. The document urges wealthy citizens to donate to the cause of helping the homeless, emphasizing the hardships faced by homeless people in Chicago. It also calls for a kind, brave, handsome stallion to rescue the desperate people in need of help. Additionally, a letter from Rupert Fish expresses concern about the bum bots created by SCP-1501, which are attacking people for money and causing mistrust towards the organization. There are suspicions about ulterior motives behind the donation of these devices. Following a containment breach, the object classification for SCP-1501 was reviewed, resulting in the continuation of the Euclid object class and the disassembly of all instances as part of its containment. It is suggested that several SCP-1501 instances will be relocated to a future MCF facility at Ontario, Canada, and intercepted if the facility is verified. 